we today have concluded an agreement to end the war and bring peace with honor in Vietnam. As we began to contemplate evacuation, the burning question was, who goes? And who gets left behind? My dad flew a, a Chinook helicopter in the South Vietnamese Air Force. He had given my mom a heads up that if she did hear a Chinook coming to get ready, I knew my dad was coming. We quickly ran into the Chinook and uh, we all flew off. I, I grew up, literally grew up in, in, the, in the bunkers, in the barracks. I, a uh, small kid, I remember walking around uh, pulling boxes of, uh, of ammunition home, <laughs> boxes of M80 out. bullets home and, and playing, you know, living with guns and living with machine guns and, and uh, military armament around. One day you carry home the two like uh, bullets <laughs> on, the, on the thing. Oh, mom, I got some, I got some. I said, oh no, please don't do it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I remember flying with dad on, on several different, uh, you know, non-critical types of uh, flights that he did. And so the, the smell of jet fuel is very familiar. All of that was very familiar to me. And so uh, I was not scared. This was part of me growing up during a, a very tumultuous time in our country. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's not until you're an adult that you realize, oh my mm -hmm. God, it, you know, it, anything could have Anything could have happened uh, during that time frame. You just uh, a, a luck and a lot of luck. So I, I remember uh, very vividly the whole uh, experience from uh, from end to end. The only thing I, I didn't I didn't see, the only thing I don't have, which was stories that were told, was basically after we jumped off of the Chinook, they quickly ushered us into. Uh, into the cabin of the ship. And I looked back and, and that, was, that was the last uh, thing that I saw my dad was, uh, was hovering away. But it wasn't until more than 35 years later that uh, all of these different videos and all these different pictures came to surface that, uh, wow, the, the footage, the images, the things that were captured, uh, the, the crew member on board videotaping and uh, photographing mm -hmm. the whole experience and uh, no my dad wasn't lying at all <laughs> when he was sharing those stories about uh, what he did uh, because boy oh boy we've got pictures to, to prove it all. When Ma went by you know how, how was he? What kind of a... Oh I of... live in uh, my hometown in uh, Nha Trang and he from Saigon so I met him July 1965. How did you meet him? He friend of my friend, so they introduced Ma to uh, to him. And what did you think of him when you first met him? Oh, he a um, man in uniform. wonderful guy, handsome, good looking with the the pilot uh, uniform. Yeah. Oh, he really nice guy. I am so happy to have husband like that. You know, Dad was always such a strong man. I think he always instilled in us about working hard and pulling up your bootstraps and, and doing what you gotta do.